I'll lead off with you. <laughs> Let's go, Chris. <laughs> so with the, with the new season, is there anything you guys are most excited about for people to, to see? There's a lot of really cool stuff coming up. Um, we've got a drag race. That's a nice little teaser. Yeah, there's some cool items. I think uh, the people, some of the people coming in, I'm excited for people to see. It's, it's just crazy. Just crazy. I mean, what, what continues to be one of the biggest challenges you face? Like, even, you know, working on the show now that it's into season four. Challenge? Uh-huh. Uh, finding interesting stuff. That's, that's always a challenge, because there's stuff that we want to see come through the doors, but nobody wants to part with. So, it's, you know, like, come on. Dig yeah, out. but he's on the slip. Oh yeah. No, yeah, yeah, that yeah, would be fine. We could deal with that. You know, and sometimes we just don't come to an accord with people. It's, it happens. It happens uh, in real life, and it happens in the unscripted, you know, day to day. But you know, I, the one thing that I really want to just do is get stuff out there and show people how cool this is. You know, you've got. Um, we touched on like the six million dollar man um, action figure. Yeah, if we could show all of them though. The we could get a mascotron and, and or the, a the, bigfoot. The bigfoot. That would be cool. I would love to see someone just bring in their collection and be like, here, this is what we have. And uh, I have a whole host of other stuff. Like Big Jim, he had a. Big Jim was an action figure in the 70s, and he had like his his pack, and there were a bunch of guys in there that were like so cool. You had the whip, um, Dr. Steel, who had a steel hand, like that's cool. Yeah, I remember uh, Kevin had that, I was digging their storage, I find this like big camper, and it says Big Jim on it, I'm like, what the hell is this? And he was like, dude, that's Big Jim. He had a dojo, like all this, like, yeah, he was, oh yeah, it was cool. I got to but, see the uh, teaser clip for the upcoming season. Yeah. How'd you guys find the guy with the back cave? Like, <laughs> you know, that was last year. Oh, yeah. That that was last sorry, year. They, 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 they ran for this in, clip, actually. though. He uh, came yeah. in. He's like, I got this back cave. I want you guys to check it out. And I'm like, all right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm like, yeah, all right. Like, everyone comes in. They say, yeah, I have a cool basement, right? But this right. guy actually had yeah. a freaking back cave. Most people will invite you down to your basement. You're not leaving. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> guy had a, actually had a freaking back, like a real back hey, cave. Ming, so. does this rag smell like cool? Yeah. Like, 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 yeah. Smell that, like, yeah. Do you guys enjoy, like enjoy doing more stuff outside of the store? Or like yeah, it's a lot of fun. You know, we get to. Uh, I love to travel. We do. Uh, we actually just to tease a little cosplay this year. Okay. Actually, twice, don't we? Uh, actually, yes. all four of all us. All four of us, yeah. Yes. Shockingly. <laughs> so, is there anything that didn't make the cut that you would have liked to see in an episode that kind of, you know, they were like, oh, that's not going to work? Yeah, due to. You know what? Uh, there's There are things that are just so dense, and you, there's no. There's no fun in them, but it's they're educational. But we want you want the fun, you know. Uh, one of them is uh, a book, uh, uh, Seduction of the Innocent, and it was just such a big chunk of we have to get people up to speed for this. And um, to to do that effectively, it's it'd take like two segments long, which we weren't willing to do. Cut out one item for another. So that probably won't make it because it's just there's so much you need to know. Yeah, I don't know if there's one specific item that I remember, but uh, pretty much maybe 80% of the things Brian says can't be aired. Yeah, I mean, even yeah. the answer. Oh my like, god. Like, yeah. I'm sure some of the big I shot up that. It's probably about 90. 90% <laughs> of the stuff he says can't be aired. The one thing that I wish we could get on DVD, I wish we could like do a DVD extras. Brian and I did a banter topic about our time in prison and what we did to get there. And like hypothetically never... or real? No, you don't remember that one? No, I, I don't I, know if I was we, there. We, yeah, you were there. You were in prison? <laughs> Brian well, and I were talking about the time we, we were in prison and the nursing home uh, fiasco that got us there. And it was just us riffing, <laughs> just like playing off each other and trying to be as heinous as possible. And Brian like upped it and then I'd up it and he'd up it and then I'd up it. And it, it was really bad towards the end and it will never, I mean, it's, it's Hitler-esque and it's, it's you know, horribleness, but I, I hope that somewhere, some someday, it sees like on a DVD. Somewhere. Somebody burned it. Yeah. Yeah, that would be we awesome. We could get a hold of that footage. Uh, but I yeah. would probably be called to The Hague and tried for crimes against humanity just for uttering the word. So. Especially today, what you're saying. Oh my god, yeah. Is there anything that gets off limits? Like we can't go. Absolutely. Uh, there's stuff. No. 
We say it, but they never use it. <laughs> no, we had, yeah, there's actually a lot. They have, they actually they, they have people watching. One of our banter topics, and uh, I can say this because it'll never be used, and uh, we've tried to get it in a couple times, was um, if you could go back in time and kill Hitler as a baby, but you had to do it with your bare hands and you couldn't use a weapon, how would you do it? And could you do it? And um, you well, couldn't. No. No, you no, couldn't. No. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't think I could. I think I'd kill, kill a child. No. Uh, and my, my answer I, was I, I, uh, I wanted to kill his entire family, so there was no chance. Of it. Yeah, he's and they're like, wow, you're a, a more ruthless than I am. scumbag, you aren't you? So yeah, I was like, hell yeah. You wipe out the entire bloodline. And uh, yeah, they thought that that was a little too um, over the top. For just a banter topic. Uh, yeah, and then uh, during the first season, I wore a costume. It was called the Price Mike costume. If you watch that episode. Yeah. Oh my god. And they um, that's they right. insisted that my nipples be covered. <laughs> They're like, whoa, 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 that's too far. Like, let's let's cover. I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, I just watched the episode of Breaking Bad where the dude slices the dude's throat and blood goes everywhere. I'm like, all right, whatever. All right, well. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you just want your nipples getting out there. They're very Come nice. On. They're very nice, actually. <laughs> it might be. It might have been. Justin Bieber. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Can you get that up on your site? The little picture of yeah. being an Asian just yeah, It will. Yeah, we thought that was a weird directive from I don't know who that came down from, but yeah. From the nippleless wonder. Yeah, no nipples. So. Joel Schumacher. Yeah, yeah, maybe it's Joel Schumacher. He learned his lesson. So, if you guys get renewed for season five, is there anything like you're really hoping to do outside of the store? Oh like, hell yeah! <laughs> you got oh, some big yeah. ideas? I I've got some stuff I want to do. Yeah, actually, oh, yeah, you know yeah, what? Yeah, I, we've got, got an invitation to Alice Cooper's house. Wow. That would be awesome. There's a guy who's got the world's largest Batman collection in Indianapolis. Uh, people have been getting in touch with us and like, hey, you gotta come to my house. I'm like, seriously, again? <laughs> again? Is there, what's the strangest request you've gotten? Uh, actually, the strangest request I've gotten is uh, I was asked to, to uh, perform a marriage ceremony. And uh, I'm, I'm gonna do it in, in Atlanta, Walker Stock. He, he, he got ordained. So I got ordained. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. That's Kevin? Yep, yeah. yeah. Kevin's been ordained for five or six years now, so. so you I just... Skype at first? <laughs> yeah, and, uh, he used to perform marriages for money, where uh, we had a place in LA, people would come out. He's married quite a few people. That's awesome. <laughs> it's not, it's no longer legal, but still. Uh, I, I, would I would love to go to like a celebration, or uh, uh, San Diego would be awesome. Um, I did, hold on, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. I'm ordained by the eternal, the Universal Life wow. Church. Nice. <laughs> and so, yeah, I'm going to be doing uh, that in October, at the end of October. Excited? No, wait a minute, at the end of this week. Yeah. So, you are. So, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Ming's going to jump out of the wedding cake. Yeah. Nipples covered. Yes, nipples yeah. covered. But it's yeah. going to be tasteful, you know. You could go around and marry Anyone I want, whether they want me to or not. Get married. You guys are married. <laughs> you, saw the you guys are married. Yeah. Card says it's legal, I guess. All right, I guess we're rich. I'll spare you. Yes. <laughs> To be honest with you, uh, it actually gets his hopes up. There will be canceled Wolf Lanigans that, like, oh, maybe I won't have to deal with these people again. <laughs> but it, they always come up and like, hey, hey you guys what? To we're going again. He's like, like oh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> so uh, I hear that a lot, and uh, I'm like, yay! And Ming gets people to pray for him. <laughs> yeah, oh, finds right, the well. most religious people, like old ladies. Just, Can you pray for Could me to get a season five? Season, please? <laughs> Like, and they go, they they light candles. It's it's a thing. Hey, so. it's worked out so far. Yeah. I do. I like to do this forever. <laughs> I would. Yeah. yeah. The conclusion of the show, whenever that may be. Hopefully, let's say season far ten. In the future, okay. Yes. Twenty. Are you guys working together, or will you go separate ways and do different ventures? Um. I, uh, you oh no, we better not put them. No, not really. We better not together this long. It's yeah. not, you know, it's it's old. It's like yeah. an old married couple now. Yeah. <laughs> or there's there's a certain amount of comfort to knowing that I'll see this guy and those guys at least five times a week. Yeah. So and not on.
on TV. I didn't mean to cut you off. Oh, yeah. It's not, it's not, that's not, you guys are lucky to have that. Oh my God! You have no idea how how often I think that that uh, people, you know, Kevin. I, I think I applaud him for his words. You know, go out there and, and live your passion. But there's a certain amount of luck that went along with this. Because I mean, there's a lot of people out there who have probably as much knowledge as I do in in the comic book biz. You know, uh, about characters who can you know talk to people, but. I mean, how many of them know Kevin Smith and uh, no, have them say, hey, give, you're going to be on TV? Give yourself some credit. Not all of them are as good looking that's, or as charismatic that's as you true, are. true, but um, <laughs> it's a whole married couple, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank just you, man. Oh. Just give yourself some credit. Give yourself right. some credit, uh, But there is, it's, there's, there's a certain amount of luck in this world. And I, I think that a lot of us make our own luck. Um, I... I haven't said this in a very long time, but I used to say it all the time. Uh, luck is merely unexpended energy looking for a willing vessel. So you're, you open yourself up to whatever plan the universe has for you, it's going to come true. So. So, I mean, do you think a lot of that camaraderie is what resonates well with viewers, too? You know, I mean, I would comic think so. book fans, obviously, they're right. going to watch the show and be fans of it, but I think, like, that uh, camaraderie between everybody brings in almost, like, another demographic. We so, do. Uh, we've, we've got a lot of crossover people, people who... Um, maybe do tune in after the Talking Dead or the Walking Dead and say, hey, these guys, you know what, there's, no matter how heinous Brian rides his ass. So <laughs> he does you, it out of love. And, <laughs> but there, you, can, you can feel that there is friendship there. He doesn't go for the jugular. And there are times when Ming does just, come on right here. And Brian doesn't take the bait. Well, it's, it's funny because they always talk about there's very little like bro shows on you know, like there are man shows. Yeah. That's what, you know, if they would say, you know, Sons of Anarchy, they're out there. And sure. you guys prove that, like different network, you know, it's not quite a dying breed. Right. <laughs> You're not going to say like two and a half men either, are you? Yeah. Thank God, okay. <laughs> not going there. No, no, no. I'm, you know what? I got to be honest. I'm, I'm not a fan of those or, or two broke girls. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right, though. I think a lot of people see that a lot of themselves in us. There's a guy who always gets I'll picked on. This guy who is kind of knowledgeable. Uh, this guy who makes fun of everybody else. It's and like then, a Yeah, and then and they all sit around um, debating Star Wars and Back to the Future. Because so. I feel like guys are doing that. I, know, I mean, women, too. It's yeah, like, oh, yeah. You know, mm -hmm. people are having those same debates. Like Geeks. Yeah. Geeks are doing that. Yeah. And we have inherited the earth. I mean, look at Kevin, Joss Whedon, J.J. Abrams. These are the people who are, they grew up um, in Spielberg's and Lucas's shadow. And as cool as that is, they forged their own path and they wanted to, and Kevin said it himself, they wanted to see the, uh, the movies that they wanted to see. So no one was making them, they went out and they made them themselves. I mean, the Star Wars reboot, or Star Wars, Star Trek reboot, <laughs> and the upcoming Star Wars, you know, continuation. That's what people want to see. That's actually people are clamoring to see his take on it. And when would that have happened? Twenty years ago, it wouldn't have. It would have. It would have been cookie cutter, and that's it. That's all we had. I mean, not that things aren't a little cookie cutter now, but no, but the doors to creative freedom right. are like wide open now. And I think that's what's so amazing. Exactly. I defy you to show me one movie that's exactly like Guardians of the Galaxy. I mean, Man of Steel, unfortunately, was a lot like the Avengers, but, I mean, you know, <laughs> oh, well, you know what are you going to do? Laying in the city to waste <laughs> yeah. stuff blowing yeah. up. And, yeah, well, yeah. stuff blowing up, and you have to blow up that thing, and it's a you know, alien from portal. outer space. And, yeah, you know, like, and someone's got to make a sacrifice, yeah. and... Uh, yeah, I, I mean, but it was yeah. Superman. <laughs> but it was Superman. But it's Superman. Superman. <laughs> but it's Superman. It's completely different. Exactly. <laughs> so what's your take on remakes? Do you guys feel like they're generally well done for the most part, or is there some that you just kick up? Uh, it's it goes on a movie by movie basis or even a comic by comic basis because uh, I would love to see I, I've thrown this out there before and I'll throw it out there again Marvel should hit the reset button and I can tell them exactly how to do it Galactus comes the ultimate nullifier is about to be used but it's used by um, doom 
he's the one who pulls the trigger. Galactus lays waste to the, the Earth, and then Doom pulls the, uh, the trigger for the ultimate nullifier. Wipe everything out, and then it's reborn, and you've got a, uh, pretty much a Blake's blank slate to play with. So, exactly. New characters and also old characters with a new twist. So, always thought they should do that. Always thought they should hire me to do that for them. Kevin was talking about, you know, he likes to make movies out of his own ideas. Mm -hmm. That's why he walked away and screen for it. Mm -hmm. If they ever did something like that, where it's just recently, do you guys have any interest in going in there and saying, hey, I would like to have art in and how this is done, how this is made, because you know, we feel like we have some great ideas. I would love to be on editorial. Uh, if they ever did that, I'd love to be brought in as like a consultant. Or are you kidding? <laughs> are you listening to this, Dan Buckley? Um, yeah, that that would be fun. Yeah, that, to actually I would, oversee everything. Exactly. I, think there are I wouldn't want to be more talented be, people. That exactly. I would, would do that. get the best writers. I'd grab Kevin. Grab I'd grab Brian. I said, make something up. <laughs> Brian. Yeah, I would. I would have him do something. Bring the cryptozoic man to the Marvel sandbox. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> or I want to see your take on on um, Man Thing, Muck Encrusted Monster. I mean, he's sitting right over there. Yes. So we were talking about it. He said, you know, this is not my own, and I didn't get a chance to ask him. But mm -hmm. I was wondering, same sort of thing. Like, what if you take something that's pre-existing, but you get to burn in a storyline that hasn't been written? Yet? Mm -hmm. I think that would be really cool. I would love to do that, but editorially, I would I would love to put the pieces in motion. Yeah. Well, speaking of the movie business and everything, it was mentioned during the panel that uh, you guys should make an appearance in the Ke one of Kevin's next Moose films. Jaws. Moose How Jaws. about that? Huh? Moose Jaws. Would you guys would you guys be up for that? You guys Hell yeah. About that? But yeah, that wouldn't absolutely. be editorial, right? You'd be on camera in that. That's fine. He can he directs me and I do whatever he says. <laughs> that sounds awesome. I hope I die in an outhouse. <laughs> I just said, I, I hope I die in an outhouse. Oh, yeah, I'm what doing anything. What more do you want? I'm doing anything. <laughs> and with him, yeah, with him, that's a, that, those are dangerous words to say around him. <laughs> but, I die in the outhouse with you, with just his nipples showing. Yeah. But, oh, just his nipples hanging on the outhouse door. Right. That'd be awesome. <laughs> that would be one way to go. <laughs> oh, my God, it's the Asian Justin Bieber. <laughs> that's Starring the Asian, Asian Justin Bieber. <laughs> I think we have time for one more question. I guess uh, if if you knew when the show was ending, you know, they said, okay, this is your last season, you know, before yeah. you go into it, is there any way that you guys would like to end the show? Like, any specific thing that you oh, yeah, do? Oh, yeah, burn the place down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> insurance <laughs> fraud. Kevin, insur yeah, insurance fraud <laughs> that we couldn't get uh, busted for. That would be awesome. Or do we all die? <laughs> yeah, I don't want to die. Suicide pact? No. Or no, because then I could never show my face again. Yeah. Or, yeah, I don't know, gamma rays? I don't Yeah, that's a good so question. So many ways man. to go. That's an excellent question. <laughs> Alright. Well, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. I, I think we're we'll wrapped. So I think they have, unless you have another one. Good. You're good? good. Alright. Thank, yeah, thank you so much. Thank, thank you guys. You. Not at all. Thank you. 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 Thank